Hello there, I am Giant Crow with my Pokemon Ruby video. In the last part, we took on... What do we do? We, uh, we took on the Moss Deep City Pokemon Gym. We beat all the trainers of the gym, which wasn't too hard. And we beat Tail which wasn't too hard. That's the Lock and Wundertone. And we were able to defeat it with just, uh, uh, Twitch, my, uh, Grumpig, and, uh, Metroid, my Tentacruel. So after that, we got the Mind Badge. We got the TM for, uh, Calm Mine, I believe. I think it was, like, TM04. That's the number, I guess. Let me just double check. Let's see. Um, team of four called mine close, right? So yeah, I have Metroid up front, as you can see right here. And now we also made it to Magma Cavern. We use Dive Outside Battle, because we can use Dive Outside Battle. Because we got the the Mine Badge. So that's cool. From Liza and Tate, I should say. That's how they put their names. First Liza, then Tate. There are two gym leaders. It was a double battle gym leader battle, and it was pretty fun. So yeah, we made it to the C4 Cavern here, because we actually ended up finding Team Magma's, or the submarine, uh, Captain Stone's submarine. That Team Magma stole. So you'll need Rock Smash, Strength, Dive, and Surf to get here, by the way. So yeah, I had to go back uh, off screen and get wary, because I didn't know we had, I forgot we had to have uh, Rock Smash and Strength to get through here. So you want to smash that rock like I just did, and then move this boulder out of the way. This is how you do this puzzle, first puzzle, I should say. Uh, because, like, we can push this boulder to the right, because if you keep, if you pushed it from going downwards, it just block your way off, because it'd block, be like right here and it'd block your way. So you have to exit the room and come back in to reset the boulders. But luckily, I did the puzzle correctly the first time, so that's awesome. Let's talk to this team, Rocket okay, Grunt. We don't need a kid around. Go home already. Never. I'll stop till you guys are done for. I'm not leaving until you're defeated, Team Magma. And yeah, if you're playing, uh, Sapphire version, Team Aqua will be here. And I believe if you're playing, um, if you're playing Emerald, Team Aqua will be here as well. So yeah, if, that's just my guess uh, for Emerald. I'm not really sure if it's uh, Team Magma or Team Aqua who's here for, in Emerald. So yeah, here's a Poochie in level 37. Let's go for the Surf attack on this thing. It's a level 37 male. Surf hits, it's awesome. And it goes down one hit, awesome. Cool. I like it. Okay, normal, nice. Okay, it's coming out next. So normals are four times weak to water type moves. So let's just Surf on this thing. The snowmobile is level 37 male, so it's awesome. And the snowmobile should go down, it does, awesome. We're 5 levels higher than it, or Metroid is 5 levels higher than it, so we're in pretty good shape right now. That's end up about awesome, we defeated Team Magma Grunt. I want to go home. <laughs> so you're going to have to use the submarine to get back, because we're, like we're technically in a cavern underwater. So yeah. Thanks for the 740 Poké Dollars, though. And here's another Team Magma Grunt, I might as well take him out, just so he's here. I'm gonna place all the Team Magma Guns here, cause just for the experience. That submarine, it's tiny inside, I'm so all over. Yeah, you'll, like, I'll put a screen, I'll put a snapshot right now on screen, like, our scale, from the last part actually, where we were just standing in front of the, the submarine, and uh, the, uh, we, like, we, how did all these Team Magma Guns, and Maxi, and Tabitha, Courtney, I think it's Courtney this time, that, Edmund Courtney that will face, um, how did they all fit in that tiny submarine? Cause, cause the scaling is just off. It's more, it's a little bit better than Mr. Briny's boat for two, when we had, when we sailed with him earlier in this project, a, pri a playthrough. But I don't know, it's just kinda weird. Okay, this is normal level 38 male. It should go down with the surf, cause it's four times with the water type moves, cause it's fire and ground type. And I'm right, awesome. Okay, that was easy. We defeat Team Magma Grant. Wisdom makes me sore. Sorry, man. You just you just can't win, apparently. Thanks for 760 Poké Dollars, though. What's over here? I forget. I'm just gonna go around and... Hmm. I wonder... Wait, I think this is, like, a way to get back get back if you hop over a ledge or something, I'm guessing. Because, uh... If I do this... Wait, no, I can actually get through here, actually. Interesting. I don't remember the... Pathway to really take for this magma cabin because it's been a long time since I've done this puzzle. Okay, yeah, that's just a ledge. But here's a po here's a team magma grant. Okay, who are you? Why did where did you come from? Uh, I use dive on my tentacle to get down here and yeah, I just got here. Yeah, team magma grant. Okay, cool. He's, in, he's, in, he's gonna send out Pucci and level thirty six male. Cool. Let's go for a sludge bomb on this thing. Let's see how much this does. Um, wait, there we go. One hit. Awesome. Nummo, okay. Okay, we are going to use, uh, let's try Sludge Bomb on this thing instead of just knocking out one hit with Surf. I want to challenge. Kinda. Okay, yeah, t it did about half. Okay, cool. Let's use Takedown on us. That's okay with me. Hit with Wicoil, that's good. Free us. And then this number's level 36 in male. 
So yeah, so there you go. It's not very effective, but it fainted it. Yeah, nice. Okay, almost level 30, uh, almost level 43 Zubat. Okay, we'll stay in. This uh, Zubat will be go down with hopefully an Ice Beam, because it's going to be super effective, because flying types are weak against uh, Ice type moves. So, so Ice type moves are super effective against flying type Pokemon, like Zubat, because Zubat is half flying type, half poison type. So yeah, and much really good level 43, awesome. We defeat Team Magma Grant, awesome. I lost it. Sorry, man. Thanks for 720 Pocket Always, though. So, I want to switch to, uh, who would I switch to? I'll switch to, um, switch to Fido, I guess. I only have four of my two, four of my six main permanent party team members for my party, but that's okay. Well, I picked up an item. Let's take it from him. Uh, it's a super potion. Awesome. Cool. What's in this cavern right here? Hmm. I honestly don't know my way through here because I forget, but through trial and error and going through different rooms and stuff, I'll figure it out. So I think what you want to do is push the left one forward first, and then uh, push the right one this way, yeah. Oh, it's just a loop around, okay. So I guess that's that. Interesting. I think we could explore a little bit more in there, but I kind of don't care. I think this is correct. This way is the correct way to go, actually. If you don't want to do a little side quest, or backtracking. But then again... Wait, no, I think I can do this. We just have to, put, we have to, just have to push this boulder forward um, with strength and then uh, go around. Shoot, um, crap. Okay, um, no, shoot. I messed this puzzle up, didn't I? No, I think I still have a, I think I still have a life. Wait, as long as that boulder right up there doesn't block off or anything, or ram into the wall too quickly. Okay, yeah. It's left or right. I guess I'm going left, I guess. Because I... I can get to the left area. Left area. Yeah. Because I always blocked up by the boulder now. Repel is effective off. Let's put another repel on then. So let's do that. We have three more super repels after this, but we have 30 max repels. So that's good. So left way is right here. I think we go into water area next. Yeah, here's a water. Oh, I remember this current. I think I remember the puzzle for this, but it takes some trial and error too at the same time. So yeah, these currents will push you certain ways. Um, up, I guess. No, we can't go that way. Right, left. Um, okay, down. Um, up. I want to get in that cavern though. See, I'm curious. Nice. Okay, we got in the cavern. Awesome. <laughs> Sleep for cavern. Oh, is that person at the beginning? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That you push us at the beginning? Arg. I'll cut to where I actually was, cause that just tricked me. You don't want to go in the cavern, apparently. I always just go to the where, the, to the top right, the left corner of that map, because that's the correct way to go. I thought there was something cool in the cavern. Wow, it's been a, I guess me not quite practicing this dungeon ahead of time before recording the video made me not a clueless about where to go, or not sharp on my skills for this puzzle. Jeez, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so here we're back in this room. I'm not gonna go in the cavern, I already learned my lessons, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna down, and then up, and then qu right here, I'll go to the left, I guess. Is the correct way? Yes, it is, awesome. And then we made it to the, where we need to be. Okay, so this puzzle, this, uh, I think this puzzle isn't too hard. If I, if I mess up, I can just probably reset, the, go outside the room and reset the boulders. So yeah. Okay, let's start. That way, that way. Move this one that way. Move this one that way, move this one that way, that way. Shoot, um, did I mess that up? No, I don't think I did. This is ad Team Magma Admin Courtney we saw at the Weather Institute. So who do I have in front again? I think I have a, I have Fido. Okay, cool. Let's take her on. Yeah. Ah, how did you manage to get here without a submarine? My Pokemon, I used my Pokemon and told her to dive. I told my tentacle, ca called, uh, uh, who, what do we nickname? I should, I spare tentacle, I forget. But anyway, yeah, what an impressive child, but what do you have to do? But I want to do, to, but it won't do to have you meddling around here. And, and to do what, and to do what, I'm gonna try that again. And I do want to pay back, and I do want payback for what happened at the Weather Institute. I'm going to give a little taste of a pain, resign yourself to it. You know, I think Richard Nixon was the first president to resign as a first president, a U.S. president to resign, so I definitely don't want to resign. Just saying. So yeah, let's uh, go with the uh, facade, I guess. 
This camera up to level 30 and female, cool. That's just great. Give this camera up to metal, guys. Give this camera up to metal. Let's go for the, um, rock tomb. It's gonna be neutrally effective because fire, it's fire ground, so it's gonna be super effective on the fire type, but also, um, not very effective on the ground type, so it's neutrally effective. Oh, it knows earthquake, of course. So this camera is in the red health now. She might heal, but, uh, I'll go for a facade again. Oh, she doesn't heal a camera. Nice. I'll take it. That makes my job easier. Okay, and my coin is about to send up my I'm like, cool. We'll go for the vital throw then, actually. This cam- this- I almost said camera up again. This mag- this mighty Anna is level 38 and female. It has an ability to intimidate, which cuts attack, which isn't good for us. Let's get his takedown, okay. It does record damage, okay. But vital throw goes automatically second, but it never misses, so that's awesome. And we take out the mighty Anna when it could, quite awesome. I'll take it. Nice. So pray to defeat, we defeated Magma Co Admin Courtney. Awesome. Ha ha ha. Ouch. Thanks for the 1,520 Poké Dollars. Thanks for playing again, Courtney. So yeah. Oh yeah, this, this, I remember I started, um, my Pokemon movie walkthrough guide part, or, um, my original walkthrough guide for Pokemon movie in this room said, and it's, I think the video was called, like, One Last Puzzle. And it was like part whatever, I can't even remember. If I had to guess, this is like part 32 or 33, by the way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna heal up, uh, fighter a little bit, so let's use a, let's use a super potion, I guess, and some other potions too. Like another super potion, probably, yeah. There we go, nice. Cool. So, I think I know how to do this puzzle. Just push this one forward, the metal boulder forward, the strength. Nice, okay. Then we have to push this one to the left, this one to the left. Um, push this one to the left. Push this one forward, left, left, forward, left. Did I mess that up? I did mess it up, shoot. What the heck? I messed it up. I oh, mean, I'm gonna have to reset the room. Oh, I can't believe I messed it. Like, I messed it, I choked at the last part, apparently, or something. Anyway. Yeah, I think I know what to do now. Forward, left, right, left. Forward, left, right, 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 left. There we go. Or right, forward, forward, left, I should say. <laughs> for those last two boulders. So yeah, I think this is where I get the TM for, uh, uh, Earthquake, which is TM26. So yeah, there we go. We're gonna teach this to, uh, to Hariyama. So let's teach it to him now before we forget. So yeah. Awesome. Let's, let's teach Earthquake to Hariyama, my fighter. If I wants to learn Earthquake, you move Earthquake. However, I already has four moves. Should we move deleted and replace with Earthquake? Yes, which should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um... Let's get rid of... Hmm, do we want to get Arm Vest or... Because I'm looking at my final moves that notes for my Pokemon. However, Fighter's final moves that's going to be Brick Break, Vital Throw, Earthquake, and Facade. So should we get rid of Arm Thrust or Vital Throw? No, Arm Thrust or, uh, Rock Tube, excuse me. Um, I'll give it an Arm Thrust because it's good to still have a Rock type move, I guess. So let's give it an Arm Thrust. Yeah, one, two, and poof. Fighter forgot how to use Arm Thrust and Fighter Lord Earthquake. Yay. Nice. Okay. That's good to know. So here we are. This is the end of the Magma, magma Cavern. So we're getting close to the end. So it's using the uh, Super Repel. We have two more after this. Two more Super Repels, but 30 more Max Repels. So yeah, I fight up front, so that's awesome. Oh look, it's Groudon, guys. Let's take him on. Ha! <laughs> Hold it right there. Oh, I'll try to do. I'll try to do Maxi's voice from the anime. Foo 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 foo. So it's what's here after all. Behold! See how beautiful it is. The sleeping Pokemon, the sleeping form of an ancient Pokemon, Groudon. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprised me how you've managed to chase me here. This is not Maxi's voice from the anime at all. I already know. But I'll, I'll continue on. I guess this is my bad impression of Maxi from the anime. Okay, whatever. But it, that's over now. Sorry, uh, sorry, that's my voice. <laughs> For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. Okay, that's that's like a cringy voice. I'm going to say that right now. And I've been doing it every time we run into Maxi, basically. It's just cringe. I'm sorry, guys. I, I apologize for that. Cringe. 
Okay, yeah. So here's Magma Leader Maxi. He would like to battle. He sent out Minan. His Minan is level 41. Luckily, we're one level higher than it. Haha, <laughs> our fighter is. That intimidate cuts fighter's attack though. Jeez. Let's go for the facade first to weaken it down. Of course, you can use Swagger. Lucky for us, we have the Yellow Fruit, which heals confusion. So you just kind of boosted fighter's attack sharply. Haha. <laughs> Sucker! It doesn't even matter if Fighter hits itself in confusion now, because I could just I can just knock it, I snap out of confusion with the Yellow Fruit. That did a lot, because you know Fighter has a good high attack, physical attack stat, so that's what that it does a little bit more when you hit itself in confusion. So that's not good. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll try to ignore that, you know, and try to take you out. We start, yeah, Fighter snaps out of confusion. Cool. Let's get his takedown. Yeah, this isn't good. It's already at half HP. We gotta get a roll. We gotta get rolling on this thing. Let's just no, come on. I don't shoot. Act well, you're gonna raise fighter's attack stat. You've raised it four stages now, at least four stages. Cause two and two. Cause sharp weight means like by two stages. No fighter, come on. Okay, I'm gonna use a forest wood because I'm pretty sure that heals confusion too. Cause that's a sasken condition and uh it also heal fighter all the way so that's good nice okay yeah keep on doing recoil damage yourself buddy yeah okay let's go for the facade this time we finally get attack wow nice awesome the my nana goes down awesome i might keep fighting because it has plus four attack right now Physical attack. I'll crow about though. It knows wing attack. Let's let's try it though. I got rid of I got rid of arm thrust over rock tomb because rock tomb is a little bit more powerful and it's a rock type Pokemon. Not not rock type Pokemon, but rock type move. So it covers its weaknesses for flying. It tries to at least. Let's use rock tomb on this thing. You're gonna cause what's with you and confusing my Pokemon, Maxi? Geez, this Crobat's level 41 in male. I think the Mightyana was level 41 for sure. And I think it was a male. So yeah, as its gender. So yeah, fighter still used rock tomb. Awesome. Let's see if this knocks it. Well, it puts it in the red, I think. I'm hoping. Oh, yellow. Yellow is good. Knocks it out. Awesome. One hit. Awesome. Ooh, almost level 43. Camera up. Okay. I'm still. I'm going for an epic Hayama sweep right now. That's what I'm doing. So let's go use the yellow food. I should heal also at the same time. I could. I could use the another full store just to be safe. But I'm making sure that fighter's not confused. Okay. Yeah. It's not that confusion. That's what I, I meant. Let's use amnesia. Okay. There, I said it right. That time, like I remember earlier in this project, I think maybe five parts ago, I couldn't pronounce amnesia. The move amnesia, I said for some reason. Let's go for the earthquake on it. Yeah, and now a new move earthquake. Yeah, since it's a fire ground type, it'll be super effective because he has half fire type. Awesome, we swept through Maxi's team and it came up as level 43, so it was all ahead of our, our fighter. Awesome, fighter good level 43. Yeah, the mighty on using swag actually paid off because it raised, uh, you know, fighters physical attack step by four stages, and we only use physical moves really. I want uh, Rock Tomb's considered special, but I think it's physical, maybe. I don't know. We defeated Mechman Leader Maxi. Cool. I I lost again. Thanks for three thousand four hundred forty pocket dollars, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you kind of lost again. I'm sorry. Foo -foo 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 -foo. I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession, the Blue Orb, which is the wrong orb, by the way. Don't use it, please. Don't use it with this Blue Orb. I can make Groudon. Don't. Okay, it's automatically gonna suddenly begin shining by itself. Oh, great. Great. What are you doing? Oh, great. This is gonna make Groudon go away to the Cave of Origin and Satopula City instead of fight us. So, where to go, Max? You're gonna make it go away. You know, make it leave us. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the Blue Orb. Where did Groudon go? Hmm, I got, I, I'm getting a message from our members outside. Oh, yes, so what it is. It's, <laughs> the sun is burning brightly. I also, and um, I believe in Ruby and Sa Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald, there'll be a there'll be like a drizzle, like where it's say if it's raining all the time throughout all of Hoenn. But in Pokemon Ruby, it's a drought, so it's gonna be sunny all the time. And I go do 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 do, and have the beeping sound. Like I remember, I had a I did a I started a video off in front of in front of the Moss Deep City Pokemon Center and I was like the world's gonna end it's we're all gonna die ah that was cringe I'm sorry that I did that I was like 13 I'm sorry now I'm eight, I'm 21 eight years later now I'm more mature please don't hate me <laughs> okay hmm the sun is burning brightly cool good that should have uh happened that is why we awaken Groudon to realize Team Magma's vision of expanding the world's landmass what I have to itch my armpit right now so that's why I'm not pressing A <laughs> Okay, uh, it's far harder than we envisioned, so it's so hot that it's dangerous? That can't be, that's just not possible. 
Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The blue orb is supposed to awaken and control Groudon. Nope, that's, that's the red orb. You know, they match in colors, you know. You see Groudon? I'll put a PNG of Groudon right now. Um, yeah, Groudon is red. Pretty much red. And, uh, Kyogre is blue. And, you know, I, ma we fight Archie in, uh, Pokemon Sapphire, I think, uh, in Pokemon Emerald for this. And, you know, Archie just ends up using the brown orb, which is the red orb. So, those colors do not match the corresponding Pokemon. Put two and two together, guys. Jeez. The blue orb is supposed to awaken and control Groudon, but why? Why did your argon disappear? Because you used the wrong orb. Why? Oh, I know. Because you used the wrong orb. Jeez, you're such an idiot, Maxi. <laughs> no, sorry, no offense, but that seems to be so good. Take offense from that. Here's Archie. I don't know Archie's uh, voice from the anime, so I'm sure I use my normal voice. What have you wrought? Maxi, you finally awakened Garden, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this sunshine continues for an eternity? The world seas will dry up and disappear. He's all shocked. What are you saying? The blue orb should let me control Groudon. That can't be possible. Oh, because I go back to his voice. Oh, Archie's talking now, sorry. We don't have time for to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See what you've wrought is... See what you've wrought is the world that you desired. Steven, come on, you have to come and get out too. So yeah, we're now on the surface actually, on a little peninsula, I guess, that has a little water. And stuff like on a, I think we're like on a sand bank or something, or a sand island, or I don't even know how to pronounce it, uh, explain it. What happened? What is this wrenching scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? Yes, you did. Um, I, I only wanted, do you understand now, Maxi? Do you finally see how dangerous, how yeah, dis, dis, disastrous, um, your dream has turned out to be? We have to hurry. Oh, that's the beeping sound. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Yeah, we have to hurry. We have to g we have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Steven, t we Team Aqua have been pushing Team Magma to prevent this from happening. You're very really helpful, but if you the worst has happened, it's gone too far for a child like you to manage. We'll see about that. We have things to us and get out of here while you still can. This is this defies belief. A super ancient Pokemon. Its power is, I think uh, Max is talking right now. I hope so. It, it, it has upset and the balance of nature. They go off. Wait, Maxi doesn't even have any Pokemon, so how does he get out of here? Hey, look, it's Steven Stone, riding on a Skarmory, landing on his, landing to the ground using a Skarmory who is flying in there currently, or at the time when he dove to us. If that makes any sense, I don't think it does. Steven, what is happening? This is terrible. If this doesn't stop, all of home, no, all of the whole world will be destroyed. That's, I, I kind of skipped to that last part, this last piece of dialogue. The cause of this calamity, the blazing sun and the sky above Zootopolis. What is the world taking place there? Uh, there's no point in arguing here. Zootopolis should be, we should provide answers. Steve, I know what you intend to do, but I, I don't, but, but I don't do anything reckless. But don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Zootopolis. Me too, but we have to actually dive there first to find it. So yeah. So now I can actually move and stuff. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a fighter to switch it with, um, Screamer, I guess. Yeah. So we have to go to Sutopolis City, but we have to find that. So I'll look at my Pokenab and show you guys. So Sutopolis City is right here. So we have to find our way there and, uh, use dive and re reach the, uh, and then, uh, go back, go up, um, to the surface, and we should be in Septopia City. Now, I figure which uh, dark patch of water we should go through, though, but that's be all trial and error. But hopefully, I'll, I'll just keep it on my fucking app. So, for right now, I'm gonna use it as a guide. So, let's see, home map again. We wanna go up and then to the left, basically. I can do that, yeah. Cool. Did, uh, did uh, Larry pick up an item? No, we didn't, of course not. <laughs> okay, so let's put another pro on. I don't think we have ever pro on still, but we might. Yeah, okay, we still have pro on. Cool. So up and then to the left. Interesting. Yeah. Here's another cool trainer, but I'll face them when we go to Ivergrande City for the Pokemon League. I don't want to focus on them right now. So we're in Moss Deep City now. So like, yeah, where, where do we go next? Left? Oh, no, we went too far up. Shoot, okay. Fine, we'll go back down a little bit. Then to the left. Pause the vector off, okay, we'll put another problem then. We have more and more superpower to this. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're on the new route. I forgot, I think this is about 126, they said. 
Um, one twenty six. Yeah. Okay. So we're really close to stop the city now, as you saw slightly on that um map. So I think we want to use a dive here, if I'm not mistaken. Here's seaweed. Oh, I'm gonna try to catch a really can't here while I'm here. And we can also use our dive balls because this is where wild Pokemon will be and stuff. Come on, run into wild Pokemon. We can also run into Clampo, Chi Chinchalas, and Relicanth. But Relicanth are kind of rare, I think. For the seaweed. Come on, let's run into wild Pokemon. I'm trying to run into wild Pokemon on purpose because I want to catch a Pokemon here. Because Relicanth we need for something else later in the game. Along with Whale Lord, they're the same th kind of thing. They're used for the same thing, really. Oh, yeah, I have a Repel on. Shoot, that's why. Okay, I'm going to sail over here. And, uh, wear it off, hopefully. How's the effect off? Like, cool. Nice. Come on, run to wild Pokemon. Okay, I kind of skipped through, I kind of sped through the, um, in transition for the end of battle, sorry. But, uh, that was a, that was a Quempo, not a really camp, so. I'll probably cut to where I can find one, where I find one, actually. Because, again, I think they are rare for appearance rate. So, yeah. Okay, we found a really camp, or I found a really camp, really. I think it was like the 5th encounter, 4th encounter, so that's not bad. So I can level 30 in mail. Let's go for the airway or something. It's not going to be very effective, but I want to just totally weaken it down. So yeah. Let's get this water gun. Okay, cool. Let's go for another airway. This might take a while. <laughs> it's going to use yawn. Dang it. Okay, let's have the boo to wake up Scream up from its sleep. So it'll be asleep after this airway, which kind of stinks, but we can use the boo food like I said before. Let's get his takedown, but Screamer is half shield type, so it's gonna resist takedown. So, oh man, there goes the. Yeah, Screamer fell asleep. Okay, let's go for the blue fruit then. we we'll use the blue fruit. Nice, okay, here it is. Oh, I picked up another item. Actually, he picked up an item, and it was a vibe earlier when I, when I went to try to find another Relicanth when I uh, had to edit there and do a little cut. So, yeah. Nice, okay. It's in the, it's in the yellow health now, that's awesome. Same with Screamer though. I'm gonna probably use one more, uh, probably use one more, uh, area waste on this thing. There it goes, and it's red health. Okay, cool. Now we can have a little fun and throw dive balls at it. Cause this, we're under water, so dive balls will actually work really good. As you can see in the description right here, a ball that works better on, on Pokemon on the ocean floor. Let's use the dive, let's see, I think we have like five of these. So we're not gonna run out, we're not gonna worry, hopefully not worry about running out. And of course, I didn't even check once. I could put a, I don't think I have anything to put a status conviction on it, so that kinda stinks. I'll make it easier to catch. We have only two more after this, too. We only have, we only have three total, so we have, we have only one more after this. Oh, come on, it's not even checking once. Shoot. This is bad. This is real bad. Okay, well, the always scream was, uh, key, uh, you know, holding up with all these attacks that it's using. Come on, shake once at least. Are you kidding me? It's supposed to look good on the ocean floor, what the heck? Am I just having really bad luck or something? Don't finish yourself because of really cool damage. Shoot. Okay, that didn't do too much, okay. Let's use a, um, netball then. It works well on water and bug type of one. Well, it really can't water rock, so this should do good. If this works better than a dive ball, jeez. It does, of course. One, two, three, of course. Oh, what the heck? Oh man, it shook three times and just, ah, just broke out. Dang it. Stinks. Okay, that only did 10 HP on Screamer, just like usual. With the other kind of, other times I use Rock Tomb Dawn. Uh, well, I can't. So, yeah, we got this. Oh my gosh, you didn't even shake once. Shoot. Come on, no, I can't. Do you have that bad of a catch rate? Is that hard? Is it that hard to catch you? I guess it is, apparently. We have one more nip after this. After this, we're gonna go for all, we're gonna use Ultra Balls, I guess. Oh, shoot. Jeez. Okay, Screamer's about to faint. Screamer, you're gonna have to take one for the team and just faint because I just want to use nest balls or net balls on you on this really can't. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, what the heck? This stupid really can't. Okay, so Screamer's down. Sorry, Screamo. Wait, well, I picked up another item. I think I already said that, yeah. Let's go for the Geico then. Geico is this water gun and stuff, so that's good. Let's go for the. Let's go for the Ultra Ball now. Nice. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, this really can't. I just want to catch it because I need it for something later on. 
with along with the whale lord I have. It's level 42 in the PC right now. Jeez. Come on. One, two, three. Thank you. That was like the most difficult Pokemon to catch so far in this project. Jeez. Ay ay ay. We used like what seven poke seven different Pokeballs or seven Pokeballs, but even some of them were net net balls, some of them were die balls, and some one was an ultra ball. Maybe two an ultra ball actually. I think I don't know. Anyway, well, I can't say without the Pokedex. That's 179 in the uh, in the whole index. His name is well, I can't the long the longevity Pokemon. It, it's only it's only three feet three inches tall. It weighs 51.6 pounds though. It doesn't have a footprint apparently because it's like a fin. So yeah, why can't this a Pokemon species that's existed for hundred for a hundred million years without even changing its form? The, this ancient Pokemon feeds on microscopic organisms with its toothless mouth. Interesting. Given it to this, why can't let's name it a uh, let's name it tough because it was tough to catch, or somewhat tough. Tough. Yeah, let's name it tough. Yeah, tough was sent to the PC. Cool. Now that that's over, we can actually find Satopolis City, City, hopefully. And I'm gonna put a Pell on, actually, because I don't wanna run into any other wild Pokemon, so that's why I'm putting a Pell on. We have more Super Pell, now we don't have any left over in our bag, cool. So, uh, yeah, who is up front now? Uh, Fire Let's actually get the item from where he, what is he, what did he pick up? An Ultra Ball. Cool. That makes up with the one we used on, uh, Lily Kent. If we did, if, I think we used at least two on Lily Kent, I can't remember. Short term memory loss. But we should get closer to so top of the CD now. I think this is where it is. Awesome. That's for some reason out there. Okay, hopefully we did, we actually went up the right. We did everything correctly. Yeah, we went so top of the CD. Awesome. It's still making that stupid beeping noise, but underwater we didn't hear it because we were underwater. <laughs> so, uh, uh, if you think, every door, every house like this is gonna be blocked off or locked. So like for this one, it's the door's closed, yeah. Because everyone's like, it's the world's gonna end. Jeez, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to heal up all my Pokemon, then put Diver and Larry back in the PC and get Twitch and uh, um, Torkoa, my Smokey, I guess. So yeah, let me do that real quick. And is there any, is there any items I have to put in my PC? Uh, let's put the hard scale on my PC actually. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so. I'm at 34 minutes of recording time, so I'm gonna actually just end the part right here. So, uh, let's switch Smokey and, uh, Spider, I guess. So let's see. Five of my Pokemon. Let me check the levels, okay, actually. So, uh, shoot, I mean, to use five. It's just summary, okay, yeah. So, Skarmory is level 42. Smokey is level 42. Metroid's level 43. Skyco's level 43. Twitch is level 43. And Hyam is level 43. Cool. So, uh, let's put, um, Metroid over the front, I guess, because we're going to be facing Groudon in the next part, hopefully. How many Ultra Balls do we have, just out of curiosity? Okay, we have 17. That should be good for catching Groudon. We want to catch, like, we want to buy three more at the Pokemon, so we have even 20, just to be safe, I guess. We have 13 Great Balls and 14 uh, Pokeballs, and then we have some other Pokeballs, like Repeat Balls, just in case. We have some Nest Balls, too. But I'm pretty much only going to use Ultra Balls on Groudon, trying to catch Groudon. So, yeah. So yeah, even the gym is locked. Yeah, the door is closed, okay. Or it's closed, I should say. <laughs> the door is closed. So, yeah. Let's, uh, buy the Pokeballs real quick. Uh, the, my, the modern Pokemon Center is still open, so that's good. The Fossil Effect of FG is okay, fine. Let's use buy. Let's buy, um, three more Ultra Balls to make an even 20. There we go, awesome. Nice. Nice, okay, so I'm in on the part right here. So this has been my Pokemon review we do the we do walk the guy part. Next part we'll take on uh, the Cave of Origin where Groudon is and hopefully catch him, you know, that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I'll be looking at you can get by and with you guys next part my Pokemon Ruby we do walk the guide.